What's going on guys? We're back. We got more recipes. We got more smoking to do. And today, we're doing some baby back ribs. Let's go. A lot of different ways to cook them, a lot of different or opinions, a lot of different thoughts on them. So this is just the way I do it. Turns out great, my, my customers love it, I love it, so this is what I stick to. So we're gonna be going with Chef Radar's way today. And that is with four simple ingredients for our seasoning. And that is pretty much it. We got salt, some paprika, some coarse ground pepper, and garlic powder. So we are going to throw all these in a bowl together. And so we got about a half a cup of salt here, maybe, uh, no, that was three quarters cup. Half a cup of paprika. About a half cup of coarse black pepper. And uh, another half cup, well not another half cup, but a half cup of garlic powder. And then we are just going to mix that up together. So now that that's done, we are going to set that just off to the side. And I'm going to bring these bad boys over. So we got six nice, approximately 38 ounce racks of ribs here. Um, these ones, I, when I purchased them, they come peeled, which the uh, short description just means there's, a, there's usually a membrane on the back of the ribs. Uh, and we're going to throw some gloves on at this point. So usually on this side, there will be a membrane. No matter how much you smoke it, you are not going to cook, the, cook that through and cook that off because that, uh, it's very tough. So these ones come already peeled. If, they, if you get ribs that aren't peeled, all it takes is pulling the corner up, grabbing a, a paper towel to get some grip and just pulling and it should just pull off in one piece, very simple. Um, but yeah, so I, we got six of these guys here. I'm gonna kinda give it a little bit of space so we can get this seasoning on evenly. So we are just going to start, and like I said, just keep it moving. And you wanna get about a foot above everything and nice generous coating of seasoning. And same with this. this guy over. You keep them nice and tight together. You don't waste too much seasoning. And you just get it on the next guy. So this guy's a little too close because we're gonna need to get that last little bit there. Some guys like to use binders. I don't see the crazy point in it. Um, there's enough moisture on these guys for the seasoning to stick. And if you, if you use a binder, you're more likely to put too much seasoning on. And because these ribs are so, uh, so thin, it doesn't take too much for them to be over seasoned, unlike a nice thick brisket or a big pork butt. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna flip these guys over, get the other side. And looks like we made the perfect amount of seasoning. Save a little bit, flip these guys back over. So, we now have our ribs nicely seasoned. Let them sit for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Just start to uh, let the salt do its thing and, uh, and, and get the flavor in there. And then we are going to uh, get them on cheech which he's already puffing away outside. And we're looking at probably around a six hour cook. Big difference with what I do, I do not wrap my ribs whatsoever. Um, I like to keep that nice bark. And as soon as you wrap them, you start to, start to lose that. So 
I go unwrap for um, six hours and we're gonna be starting at about 165 degrees. So we're not doing too much cooking. We're really letting the smoke come in and, and, and get, get nice and absorbed. Probably around the four hour mark, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, stoke the fire up a bit and uh, bring that temperature up and we'll finish them off. And once we get to that point, I'll show you what you're looking for for knowing that they are finished and because we are not going by temperature for these ones. There's an easier way, but stay tuned and you'll find out. So our ribs, they are nice and rested, ready to go. They're sitting at room temperature or yeah, room temperature, even though we're outside now, but time to get them on the smoker. So we're sitting at about 160 degrees right now. And you will notice I've got a new shelf in Cheech. This is gonna allow me to kind of keep the meat further away from the direct heat so we get a more even cook. So what I am going to do is all the ribs are going on this top shelf. And because we are so far away from the heat source, I don't need to worry too much about uh, placement other than I want, I want some space for the smoke to get up around them and just coat every single inch of these ribs. It's like the nicest day so far of 2021 and I'm loving it. it means barbecue season is almost here so we got these going not running any probes today again because we're not too, uh, going by temperature uh, we are actually gonna go by feel and these are kind of gonna go through uh, a couple stages whereas right right now they're kind of flimsy where they they'll bend a lot they're gonna then firm up and they're gonna be nice and stiff, so I, I'll be able to grab them and hold it up. But we want it to go a little bit longer than that until all that intermuscular fat breaks down. And we are actually gonna wait until it's bendy again, like so. Um, so that's gonna take about six hours. Like I said, we're leaving it uncovered for the process. And uh, yeah, so we will check in probably a couple, a couple times before the uh, before that six hour mark. Just show you the different, pro uh, different stages. Um, and I'll show you just exactly when uh, it firms up just so you can kind of see what, uh, what it'll look like. All right, so until about three hours from now, we'll see ya. So we are about three hours into this cook. Uh, not too much to look at, but I figured we would take a little check, a little peek uh, and see how they're coming. So we got a nice dry, uh, dry skin. Uh, you'll, you can see that they're still, uh, still a little flimsy. So they're not quite at the, uh, the fully cooked stage, um, which we do surpass uh, in this process. But yeah, so we're, we're three hours. We got probably another three to go. And uh, yeah, we will check in again then. Uh, and I'm gonna give you a quick uh, closer look. So we are about five hours into this process. Time to check in again. So we are almost there. Um, this one here, I can show you. You see how I can pick it up? So we are at the fully cooked mark. That means it's cooked through, there's no raw meat. But we haven't yet broken down all that intermuscular fat and rendered that down so it is nice and tender. So we've got another hour and then this should be when I hold it like this it should bend and start to crack on the top and that's how when that's how we'll know when it's done and that's called the bend test see this one's a little further almost there but uh, yeah we got about an hour left and we'll see you then so we've, we've, we've made it to the end of our cooking process ribs should be done I haven't looked at them yet we just turned the camera on and going by my guess but Let's go and I'll walk you through telling if they are done. So this is the one we kind of looked at the last time and it was still pretty firm and that one actually could probably go a little longer. It's still pretty stiff. You see it's starting to sag down. 
Whereas this one here, looking at it, I'm going to guess is completely done. You see how up here as it bends, we start to get some of those cracks. And the further, the further we go over here, because I started the heat over here and it kind of worked its way over, this one's probably completely done. Yeah. So that one, completely done. You see how it's sagging. And then up here, you get that nice cracking of the skin. So these ones are all nice and nice and done. I'm probably going to leave this one on a little bit longer and same with this one. Um, but we're going to take these ones in, finish them up and give them a taste. So we'll get them off here and we will head inside to taste some deliciousness and let's, and we'll go, that one's done there too. So we're going to leave these other two ones on here, move them over a little bit. And I will see you guys inside. So we're back inside. We've got our ribs. At this point, if you guys are wanting to smoke a bunch of ribs, throw them in the fridge, and then just have them ready to throw on the barbecue, reheat, this is the stage that you would throw them back into the fridge. We are going to take the majority of these, five out of the six racks that we smoked, and we're going to keep them in the fridge for reserving at Trust Foodworks. But we are going to take this guy here and throw it in the oven, get some sauce on it, finish it up so it's nice and done. And then we are going to give the, this one a taste. So when you want to get a nice good amount of barbecue sauce on there. And spread it around. You don't want it too thin because we want a, ni a nice caramelization of the sauce. So we're going to be throwing it in the oven at about 450 degrees for about five minutes. And then we're going to pull it out. We're going to have a nice stickiness to the sauce. And then we are going to cut into it and give it a taste. So we're going to throw this in the oven. We'll see you guys in about five minutes. So we've got our ribs. They're done. You'll notice the, the, the texture, and that's, that's from the, the sauce caramelizing right on there in the oven. Now, if you don't want to do it in the oven, you got your barbecue blasting already, go and throw it on the barbecue high heat. Um, you're just going to want to watch it a bit more because it is more of a direct heat. So what we're going to do is cut right into these puppies. And when you're cutting ribs, it's good to turn it on a side and you can follow the bone, let the knife, just follow the bone because the bones are hard to find just with a knife and you don't wanna do a hack job on them. So we got a nice juicy inside there. You can see a, a slight smoke ring there. It's around, it's harder, harder to see on a, a paler meat like pork. Uh, the, the beef, it really stands out. But uh, yeah, let's uh, cut some more bones. And we will give these guys a try. And there we go. We'll put, set this aside. All right. Now for the moment of truth. My favorite part of every video. Taking a bite in. That right there. It's a nice clean bone. Mm. And that, the, 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 the way you tell if you got cooked, perfectly cooked ribs, a little bit of a tug, but once you tug with your teeth, it comes cleanly off the bone. You don't want it to just fall off the bone. Fall off the bone, some people prefer it, but it's, uh, it is an overcooked rack of ribs if it's completely fall off the bone. So that, a little bit of a tub. Mm. I done good on these. Oh yeah. So before I get too much into enjoying these, that's all you need to uh, perfectly smoke a rack of ribs. Mike's way. Again, there's many different ways, but that is my way. 
Yeah, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe down below. A lot more videos coming out. We'll try to get every week. But yeah, if you uh, have an idea for any uh, any other videos, let us know in the comments below. Shoot us a message, whatever, and we will do our best to get those done. Other than that, I might have to let you guys go so I can enjoy these ribs. But we'll see you next time.